Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Tonight we're cooking dinner. I was going to start this earlier in the slow cooker, but I changed my mind. Uh, I've been having a bit of a quiet, slow day today. So I'm just going to do it the traditional way, as recipe says, on the stovetop in a saucepan. So what are we cooking? Carrot casserole with mushrooms in sherry. I'm going to serve it up with some of that really delicious damper that I made uh, this morning. That was the previous video before now. It was really good. It's going to go really good with this. Uh, you can serve this as an accompaniment to a roast beef or roast pork or whatever you want. I'm just going to have it as a casserole. It's going to be easy for dinner tomorrow night. And um, yeah, come on in, I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so as I mentioned, it's on the stove top. So I'm gonna use this one because this one's a good one. You can see inside it while I'm filming. I have sprayed that with cooking spray. We need a stirring spoon. I always forget those and today is no exception. This one's good because uh, it's a bit of a spatula as well as a wooden spoon. Okay, we're also using 450 grams of button mushrooms. Wash them. That is half a kilo. I am not going to keep 50 grams in the freezer because it ends up being about four or five of that. So more is better. 50 grams of butter. I've just weighed that out in my butter jug. One small onion chopped. What I ended up doing was there was half an onion left over from the damper plus another small onion i've put that in the food processor and that is one and a half onions but that is fine a bit more onion one kilo of carrots sliced i popped that the other way through the food processor check the video before where i made the damper that was where i showed you how to use your food processor as a friend not as a um a one-off thing probably i might start using it a bit more properly now uh, that is one kilo of carrots sliced. One tablespoon of tomato paste. I have the one that you can buy. They're Legos. They're in a sachet. Two tablespoons per one. Um, so what I've done, that's a half a tablespoon. So is that. That's one tablespoon. The other half I've popped in the freezer. The reason why I say it is good to put it in the freezer is because nine times out of 10, tomato paste is going into something you're cooking. So if it's frozen, who cares? You're still using it up. One and a half cups of water. That's pretty straightforward. Grab that from the tap. Use cold water, not hot water. One chicken stock cube. I've got the OXO stock cubes. These were my mama's favourite whenever we did uh, gravy. I miss gravy. I don't have anything with gravy really anymore. That is a chicken OXO stock cube. They're great. 150 mils of sherry. Salt and pepper. Ba -doo, ba -doo. A pinch of mace. I've never been able to buy mace. Um... Didn't look this time because I know I can't get it, so it doesn't matter. Maybe one day if I'm walking past a um, like a Chinese grocery shop or something like that, I might pop my head in and if I see it on the shelf, I'll buy it, probably to not use it for a very long time. So I don't worry too much about that one. That being said, uh, we are using a pinch of oregano, so I'd suggest if you cannot buy mace, Two pinches of oregano. That's the dried oregano leaf there. One tablespoon of chopped chives. I chopped those up with the uh, kitchen scissors. Uh, the rest of them are in the freezer with a date on them. Once again, if you are using chives in something that you're cooking, perfectly fine to keep them in the, free in the freezer because you're cooking them. So it doesn't matter that they're already frozen. If you cut them to the right size, like that that is so easy one tablespoon of chopped parsley the fresh parsley plant is getting a run today that's its second chopped tablespoon and I've just chopped that up with the scissors as well so that's all those little condiments on that plate this goes back on the windowsill um, 
do yourself a favor buy a couple of plants rather than buying the bunches of herbs uh you can literally just pick it off the windowsill as you need it all right so first up we're washing the mushrooms it says to trim the ends of them but you know what i can't be bothered they're fine okay we are going to heat the butter and saute the onion for four minutes without browning. So come on over to the stove top and we're gonna get rolling. Turn the correct hot plate on. I don't do that very often. Uh, so my 50 grams of butter, there's no point in chopping it up. It will melt pretty quick. Just get that into there. Once that's all melted, we want the onion. I'll bring you in closer so you can see what's going on in there. You can't really, oh, you can only just see. All right, there's a bit of carrot in there, but fear not, carrot is cooking in it with it eventually anyway. All right, I'll be back when this butter is melting. Okay, so when you can start to hear your butter sizzling away a little bit, that is the perfect time to grab that onion and chuck it all in. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, I have used my food processor second time today. Um, it's a great invention for chopping things up. Sometimes I get really lazy and I can't be bothered using it, mainly because I can't be bothered washing it up. But when I chop things up, I don't, I can't chop it up as small as that. I'm not a knife whiz. And I don't really fancy chopping my fingers off just to prove a point, so I just chucked it into the food processor. A uh, mandolin slicer is also a really good way to cut those carrots up, but once again, do not put your fingers where that is because um, if you've got to use the special tool that comes with it. To, it's basically a finger guard, otherwise you're going to chop your fingertips a little bit that's never fun if you have never done that before I don't uh, encourage you to try and chop your fingers off all right so I'm going to turn this down because we do not want this to brown we just want this to um, saute up the smell of onions cooking in butter is so good it's really nice all right, so about four minutes. We don't want to brown them. We just want to, um, I guess the color that they are now is what we're aiming for. After this, we are going to add the carrots and the tomato paste and the water. So we're gonna bring the carrots over. Quite proud of how a kilo of carrots turns out like that. Tomato paste and water. So today I came up with this great little idea to start putting the teaspoons on a plate. Um, mainly it was just to catch things while I was putting them in. And, um, and it's actually a good way to keep them. So I will be adopting that idea. All right. So I'm going to put the water in first. I don't need to wash that up because water is not messy. Then I'm going to pop in the one tablespoon of tomato paste. Okay, excellent. Got a bit of washing up to do, unfortunately. Right, give this a stir, remove the herbs. Now all we've got to do is put the carrots in and we are going to bring it to the boil and boil for 40 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes thank you so while it's boiling I suggest you um, wash up or do whatever you're going to do uh, at this time if you are serving this up with some meat of some sort uh, you might want to start and get that ready it was just a suggestion um, I'm quite happy to just have it as a casserole tonight uh, there's no meat in this but I don't really have to eat meat today. I'll be fine without it. All 
Uh, yeah, I had some beef yesterday. That's all right. I had to try and think. I do still eat meat, so I'm cool. All right. We're just going to bring this to the boil. Now, keep in mind that while this is boiling, you probably are going to get some water coming out of the carrots because they'll sweat. And you're also going to get some water coming out of the onions as well. So it doesn't look like much water in here, really. But the beauty of the carrots being this thin is they are going to cook up very well. Uh, and it is a lot of carrots because it's a kilo. All right, so I'm going to see you in half an hour. Okay, so our half an hour is up. We're bubbling away beautifully. All carroty. All right, what's next? Crumble the stock cube into the mixture. Add the sherry, seasoning, spices and mushrooms. Simmer for 10 minutes. So, that being said, get the stock cube. The ones that are very hard to open. But very tasty though. Alright. Crumble away. I don't think these ones like to crumble. But... They do mix in well. So fear not. Try not to drop it all over the floor as I am doing. All right, that is in. Give it a really good stir before we put the next part in. Okay, so that'll give us that chickeny flavor. All right, next up is that 150 mils of sherry. Pop it in. The mushrooms that you've washed, if you wanted to cut them in half, you could. I'm just going to keep them whole. And I'm going to crank this up. We want to get this up really hot again. And then finally, we are adding the pinch of mace and oregano. So because I don't have mace, I'm just going to use half a teaspoon of oregano. Crack of salt, crack of pepper. That's a very big crack of salt. I like a lot of pepper. But some of this is going in the freezer, so I don't want to put a lot in because when you freeze things, they do intensify. Okay, so all that you should have left is your chives and your parsley. It says to put those on top once you serve it up. However, I'm not really serving it up in a fancy platter in the middle of a table. So I'm just going to pop them on the top at the end. So bring it back up to the boil. And we want it on for 10 minutes. And basically the 10 minutes is just to make sure that the mushrooms are cooked through. Because those carrots should definitely be done. Oops. Okay, we are on the highest temperature. I'm just stirring it to get it really started. All right. Pop the timer on for 10 and I'll see you soon. Okay, so if you were serving this up the way we're supposed to serve it up, pop it into a nice pretty serving bowl, pop in the middle of the table and sprinkle with parsley and chives i'm just going to stir those through mine all right i hope you've enjoyed this episode of cooking with violet vixen this has been carrot casserole with mushrooms in sherry enjoy and i will catch you on our next adventure bye